and welcome back to my channel discover phd research gradually and i am bhumika batra discussing the steps and the alternates to be an expertise in a field in the previous video i have discussed about the citation styles various citation styles i have told you for various various departments where i have just explain you in detail for the department of psychology social science the citation style which is mostly used is apa citation styles before that i have also told you how to frame the objectives for how to do the basic literature review how to find the variables and i have also discussed about the variables like univariate bivariate and multivariate in the bivariate it doesn't mean that a statement or a objective has two variables so it means by when no i have told you a basic condition to identify if it is a bivariate or not and that condition is there should be a word named relationship or difference which constitute a bivariate variables before moving ahead today with the new topic I want to share a very important information with you. I am offering a 3 days short term course on SPSS for beginners where I will cover the understanding of the complete interface, the entering, editing, sorting and removing of data, analyzing and computing the variables. This course will be offered online. The sessions will be done via Zoom meeting. The interested participants can register and the link for the Zoom meeting and the session will be shared among them very shortly. So all the details are mentioned in the description box and I have also discussed about this on the social media and I have shared everything in the brochure. So do not waste your time go and register yourself. in this video we will be discussing about the measurement of data which is nominal ordinal ratio and scale which can also be categorized under two categories which is quantitative and qualitative this is the very important information which also used in the spss software measurements ordinal nominal ratio intervals we have four kinds of measurements of variables which can be classified as ordinal nominal ratio and intervals now we will be talking about what questions come what kind of questions it is categorized into two open ended close ended open ended is classified into two qualitative quantitative close ended mcqs so what we discussed about the questions quantitative qualitative mcq binary so these are not measurements these are not measurements now the question is what is measurement measurement is is the inferences we draw out of responses which is measurement now we will talk about ordinal nominal 
example marital status married unmarried experience One to two, two to three, three to four, four to five, five to six. Qualifications: B. Com. M. Com. Ph.D. Now, when we talk about the marital status, which is married or unmarried. people will take either married or unmarried so this is called binary when we comes to experience it has so many options so it falls under mcqs if we'll check the qualification bcom mcom phd so it also falls under mcqs now the question is how to identify which one is ordinal or which one is nominal so this marital status either married or unmarried no other inferences there is nothing we can come out with this so it is nominal when we talk about experience i can say E is more experience than A, B, C, D, E, right? In terms of qualifications, we can say C is more qualified than B, or B is more qualified than A. Now, here, how much? When the question comes, how much? It is. ordinal so ordinal is how much nominal is category the binary binary means two options i hope it is very clear what is ordinal and nominal with these examples now we will discuss about the intervals with the example i'll tell you temperature 2 degree 4 6 degree celsius i can say a temperature is more than b and c b is more than c now when we discuss about the age group can i say b a and b is equals to a and c what the difference between a and b's age is similar to the a and b and c's age no what is the age of a can we say no because it falls under some category so what does this example denotes to as i have already told this example denotes to ordinal ordinal always says more or less interval says how much more or how much less it specifies and it just says yes ye isse bada hai ye isse chhota hai kitna chhota hai and kitna bada hai like how much tells the intervals so this example is clear with the ordinal and interval now 
I'll explain you in a brief manner the measurements and the format of questions. Measurements and the questions format. Ordinal, nominal, interval, ratio. Let's come to ordinal. MCQs, there are certain options. It can also be binary. For example, experience. Experience can be in a form of MCQs also and can be in a form of binary also. Two options, qualifications, nominal. It is also can be in a form of MCQ also in a form of binary for example gender marital status interval interval i have already explained to you well with an example How much, more or less, it specifies the difference. So we took the example of temperature ratio. It can be open-ended, open-ended as in in terms of units example what is your age in years five years how much you bought in kilograms so these are kind of open-ended questions which is termed as ratio so i hope the measurements and with the question formats are very much clear to you ordinal nominal interval and ratio now you can easily identify what kind of question or what kind of variable is ordinal nominal categorized into interval and ratio so this is all about the measurement and the type of data which is nominal, ordinal, ratio and scale which we can also categorize into two quantitative and qualitative. This information will be helpful when you will be entering the data into SPSS because SPSS only calculates on the basis of the measurement you have entered there. So I hope the information is helpful to you. So please like the video subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more updates. Also do not forget to share the knowledge as much as you can and register yourself for the short term course of SPSS for beginners. I will be seeing you in my next video. Bye!